guys, it's Tamara here from thetravelingnatural.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just have a quick tour of my current Peace Corps home in Botswana. But first, let me take off my shoes, something that definitely rubbed off from living in South Korea. I guess we can start here over by the table. I have different quotes and months on my wall, <laughs> I'll explain later. So this program that I'm showing you called Peace Corps Skills Grassroots Soccer, if you have it at your Peace Corps site, do the training, it's awesome. That's just my cooler bag for when I go into town to buy groceries. And my table is kind of messy, that's my lamp my backpack you definitely need a backpack as a volunteer my stored water and yeah oh oh blue death and bug spray you definitely need this and this is just a sitting area that I don't use now let's enter the kitchen in this corner I have my cleaning supplies my rake and broom for inside and outside the sink. I have blue death sprinkled everywhere. It just keeps the insects away. Peace Corps issued water filter, <laughs> pots and pans, just typical things that you will see in a kitchen. I like spices so I have a ton of spices. A lot of my Peace Corps allowance have gone to my spices. And uh, my fridge is pretty depressing. It's usually quite empty. I only have what I need because I never know when the electricity might go out. Oh look, I have some spinach. Behind the door here, I have some, I guess you can call them pantries. This is where I keep my mop and my broom and plastic bags. Oh, mop and bucket, sorry. Some storage of bags and pots. Here I keep my bowls, Tupperware, glasses, and like pantry items like oatmeal and protein powder. Yeah. Oh, back to this water filter. So every volunteer has one to ensure that you have clean drinking water at your site. Um, so my site is a mining town and they mine salt and soda ash. So these filters, even though they're like top of the line, I'm told by one of the environmental officers in my town, they won't clean the salt. But anyway, these are the elements that clean the water. You can see mine are pretty dirty. And I'll show you a clip later on of what the water actually looks like. Like if you let it dry on things, it's just straight salt water. Anyway, that's my filter. That's my kitchen. Now I'll take you down the hall to the bathroom and the bedrooms. I knitted that, no, yeah, knitted that panda bear. <laughs> this is my Peace Corps phone. I have quotes everywhere just to keep me focused, places I want to visit. These cards were actually made by a women's group in a volunteer's site. It's pretty cool. And these pictures are from Aliens Day Out, her calendar, first family, my mom, calendar of Botswana. So here's the bedroom bathroom area. These shelves, I just have tons of stuff. Um, Books, stationery, things to keep me occupied, beauty products, things I brought with me, and things I bought here to last for the entire 27 months. And this is just my laundry, socks, and my washing powder, bug spray, washing brush, Peace Corps shirt. Here is the bathroom. I take bucket baths, so here's my bucket, and the sink. Oh, this is the salt water, what it does to things when it dries. Leaving the bathroom, here's the toilet room, and the tank never had a top, but that's okay. Here's the spare bedroom, if you want to come visit. Here's my room, complete with mosquito net, more quotes. And my mom. I guess I can take you under the net. I sleep inside my sleeping bag because it's warm. A book. This is like a bullhorn Peace Corps gives you. I sleep with this. And also my headlamp because sometimes the electricity just goes out. Um, here's another room where I just keep stuff. How did I accumulate so much stuff? In 10 months, I don't know, but it's all going to be given away when I leave. 
And this is just a last look at my living room, dining room area. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks. Bye.